Hey YouTube friends and family, how's everybody doing? I hope all of you are doing really good. I hope that you're feeling safe and that things are going well in your homes. I'm disturbed by a lot of what I'm seeing in the fear factor here on YouTube. North Korea, North Korea, North Korea. I see it everywhere. Should we be concerned? Absolutely. You know, since I was born, when I was born, Truman was president. There have been wars and wars and rumors of wars and rumors of wars. Constant fear being shown to us through our media and through the events of the world. And I'm still here. I keep talking in my videos and in my comments and in my replies about hope. You see, friends, hope lives. It's very much alive. It lives in faith. Faith. Now, I've had some people attack me and and uh, say some very obnoxious things and question me, wanting to know if I'm a Christian. No, I'm not a Christian. I'm not a Baptist. I'm not a Methodist. I'm not a Lutheran. I'm not a Catholic. I'm not a Buddhist. I'm not titled. I am not titled, except for one title, and that is a child of God. That's who I am. The universal creator of all things. I am a product of that creator. I found that in my life, love is the most valuable of anything on earth. Love. You see, when you love, you cannot hurt, you cannot maim, there is no malice, there is no hate, there is no judgment, there is no self-righteousness, there is no nasty of any kind. Because when you love, you're incapable of doing bad things. It's just that simple. Love does not do bad things. Now this young man in North Korea, he has been reared and raised with a certain belief. And right now he's struggling very hard to prove himself. He's trying hard. If you watch any of the newsreels, the videos, and watch just him, his body language, the way he looks, the way he concentrates on the actions of others around him. You can see very clearly that he's trying very hard to prove himself, to walk in the shoes of his father, but to do a better job than his father did. It's programming. Absolutely programming. Is it right that he threatens the world, that he threatens South Korea, that he threatens the United States, that he threatens Japan, or anyone? See, and his threats, though he says South Korea, or he says United States, is a threat to the entire universe. The entire universe. People are running around fearful right now and very concerned that this young man may do exactly what he is threatening to do. Well, having lived a life full of 
the same kind of threats. The threats of the Cold War, the threats that we lived under with the Bay of Pigs, and so many more. So many more. The list is just huge. Go look it up. Look at just the war threats and conflicts, disagreements, tug of wars since 1950. Go look it up. I know I wasn't born in 1950. But the list is long. And we're still here. There is hope. But hope can be starved to death if you feel fear. You should not feel fear for any worldly events. Focus on the things that matter, the things that really count. Turn the TV off. Do not read the news. Just don't. Focus on doing what you can do to secure your own homes with love. Work together. Plant a garden. Plant those trees I told you about, and the bushes, and the plants to take care of Mother Earth and your family. Build greenhouses, that's what we're doing. Come together in love. There's an energy that nobody can see. Not science. No one. No one, no mortal, can see, physically see, like this pen. It's an energy they cannot see, but it's very much real. And that energy is something that is shared every time you feel love or every time you say, I love you, providing you feel it. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in the abilities of your family. Have faith in your garden. Have faith in Mother Earth. Have faith in your Creator. You don't need a title. You do not need a title. There were no Christians when Jesus walked the earth. And all he shared was his Father's love for all mankind. That is the truth. Christianity, Christian, Catholicism, Bab Baptist, Lutheran, Methodist, Buddhist, the list goes on and on. I mean, there's many, 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 many religions. Those were created by man. And the names, the titles that they gave to each religion was created by man. Was not created by the Creator Himself. That's the fact. If you were to look at any real religion, if you want to get right down to it, the religion would be love. Because once again, I tell you, love cannot hurt anything. Cannot hurt the plants, the trees, the grass, the bees, people, Mother Earth. I don't know who we are today. Why people would get in comments and tear each other up. Why they're constantly looking for fault in other people rather than looking into their own mirror, into their own eyes, and asking, who am I, really? Who are you, really? If you fear, if you fear anything, fear the wrath of God the wrath of the Creator. Because what He has created, He can most certainly eliminate.
do I fear God? Not one bit. Not one bit. Because again, I tell you, God is love. He says so. Most certainly does. That he gave his only begotten son. That mankind could torture him for their own selfishness, their own lack of love. How hopeless, how absolutely hopeless that is. It's time for us to focus on love, loving all things, loving each other. There should be no division in man. Mankind created the divisions. We are the human race. One race. Human. Loving each other would change this entire situation. Changing this entire atmosphere. The world. Those guys with planes up there crisscrossing the sky with all those chemtrails. Do they love you? I don't think so. Most certainly the person that has that application taking place with no thought of the fallout and the chemicals that are in that fallout and how they affect mankind, animal, plants, the soil. They have no concern whatsoever. They do not care. It is not love. If that pilot sincerely loved mankind, he wouldn't fly that plane and pull that trigger and blow that poison out. Love doesn't work that way. This young man in North Korea, does he love? I don't think so. Bless his heart, I don't think he was ever taught love. I don't think he was ever shown love. I look at him and my heart just breaks for him. He has no clue what love is, what unity is, what oneness is, what being human is. He was reared and raised to hate, to despise, to be filled with malice, the worst poison in the world. Could our prayers help him? Absolutely. Should we pray that when he goes to sleep, that he be touched with the Creator's light, that his heart be softened, that his heart be filled with love for all mankind, that he pulls away from the corruption of his teachings, of what he was taught? Sorry, I had to have a drink there. Should we do that? Instead of hating him and despising him and wishing ill on him, which again has nothing to do with love, should we send love thoughts to him? Should we bombard him with that invisible energy that changes all things? Should we do that for our own government? For all governments? Should we do that? Absolutely. Will you do that? Only you know. Look into the mirror and ask yourself, staring into your own eyes, who am I really? If you hate, if you feel malice, if you despise, you want war. You would like to see him destroyed, along with all the people in that poverty-stricken country. Is that who you are? It's not who I am. Not at all. To the people that are nasty, 
those that judge here in comments, who are you really? I don't care what you say to me. I love you anyway. And I know that your awakening is slower than mine. But that's okay. I don't care what color you are. I don't care how you dress. I don't care what your sexual preference is. I do not care if you're a vegetarian or if you eat meat. I don't care if you believe in religion or if you believe in God the way I do. I'm not trying to alter your beliefs and I love you as you are, irregardless of whether you love or whether you hate. I love you anyway. And I know that the more people we can get to recognize that love is all that matters, the better our world will be. Wars, wars, and rumors of wars. The threat of war. All boils down to a couple people that do not understand love. If we could take the borders down and let love flow, helping each other, making sure that everybody is safe, that everybody has food, that everybody has security, a home, a bed to sleep in, and no fears, how great would our world be? Until people wake up and understand that hate is not the answer, war is not the answer, despising each other, belittling each other, slamming each other, self-righteous, being self-righteous, thinking ourselves so much better than anybody else until we get past that, we will not get past the threat of war. It just won't happen. It's meant to stop. It is time that people of the world wake up. That governments not exist. Not unless they genuinely care for all people of the world. We are no different. Americans are no different than the English or the uh, Iranians or uh, Israelis or the Koreans or the Japanese, etc., etc., etc. We are no different. We bleed the same color. Mothers cry for their children. Fathers try to take care of their families. It's the governments of the world that are different. And the only thing that is really sad is that people buy into it. People believe and they listen and they follow. Be the voice of change. Let that voice speak nothing but love and kindness. Get the energy going. Hope is alive. Hope is very much alive. It lives in faith. And all we have to do is feed it daily, just like I keep saying. Please give this thought. I love you all. Great big hugs. And I've got some dehydrating to do. And I've got greenhouses to work on. A chicken coop to build. And I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>